by the fag end of 2021 the world had seen the worst of the pandemic apart from the lives it had also taken a huge toll on the world economy the supply chain was in tatters and among the precious commodities which were in short supply was advanced semiconductor chips the world was mostly dependent on taiwan which still produces 90% of advanced semiconductors it was then that india smelled an opportunity and rolled out an ambitious plan to manufacture these advanced wafers in the country the policy with india semiconductor mission or ism as its nodal agency laid out a massive 76000 crore rupees incentive program to set up chip fabrication facilities the window was opened in january 2022 for 45 days and got three applications it included the 19.5 billion dollar vedanta foxconn joint venture 3 billion dollar investment plan by international semiconductor consortium mission that is a joint venture between next orbit ventures and israel's tar semiconductors and one application from igss ventures which is a singapore based semiconductor company but over a year on the vedanta foxconn deal is stuck due to disagreements with st microelectronics over technology transfer partnership duration and other issues without a technology partner the jv cannot set up a plant or qualify for incentives the plants of ismc and tar consortium and igss are also stuck intel's acquisition of tar has delayed ismc's plans and igss wants to reapply under the new incentive program the initial 2022 policy favored 28 nanometer chip facilities under it the government was to bear a part of the cost in setting up the fabrication facilities for 28 nanometer chips the government was to bear 50% of the total project cost whereas for 48 nanometer chips the incentive was for 40% of the project cost and for 65 nanometer chips it was 30% but now the government has come out with a new policy it extends the 50% project cost incentive to all the three chip sizes so what does this change in policy say about india's semiconductor ambition now when you are particularly setting up a semiconductor fab it requires a lot of auxiliary industries and that support currently is not there in the country so i think uh, you know for any industry to invest in a in a bleeding node kind of a technology uh, i would have my own apprehensions so everybody will start somewhere and the ecosystem will develop and then the advanced nodes will happen even if uh, any node any such manufacturing happening will be a big gain for india because uh, that will create that ecosystem and after that the, the subsequent nodes will anyway happen india is facing competition from other countries it is not the only one trying to attract companies to set up chip manufacturing facilities and nor is it the only one giving out incentives months after india rolled out its chip plan the european union too came out with its own program to attract chip makers with a massive 46 billion dollar incentive the us also rolled out its own chips and science act with a 52 billion dollar incentive and the west is not the only competitor south korea passed a law this year that gives tax credit to both major companies and smes in chip manufacturing business taiwan too is strong in the game it announced it will give 25% of annual expenses on research and development as tax credit to companies against this backdrop how can india compete with such countries see i would say two things is required for semiconductor manufacturing for the country like india one is the cash incentives uh, to which finance the high cost of the uh, semiconductor manufacturing and the ecosystem and the supply chain now what government of india has agreed to give is 50% of incentives it is in in line with what developed countries like us through the chips act or the european Com- commission through their chips act is providing ecosystem and the supply chain will create once a semiconductor fab comes in that is that is only possible when one of the chip plant will get approved under the new policy while the ceiling of 12000 crore rupees in incentive for display fab appear to have been removed the incentive for compound semiconductor manufacturing is now 50% of project cost up from 30% what do experts have to say about the new policy See, since i have been involved in making of a first semiconductor incentive policy way back in 2006 7 and thereafter the that policy was modified in 2014 also uh, i would say 2014 policy was the best policy with some of the changes 
uh, could have been incorporated into that. That 2014 policy was more comprehensive than uh, 2022 policy in the sense that 2022 policy talks about only 50% of the fiscal support. Whether this fiscal support is in addition to the cash incentive, the tax exemptions, direct tax exemptions, or indirect tax exemptions, that is not very clear. And 2014 policy also provided for reimbursement of you know employee training costs. If whatever changes to uh, the government think of doing it in 2022 policy should be in line with 2014 policy. The global semiconductor market is expected to touch a whopping $1 trillion by the end of this decade. In India, the present semiconductor market size is about $23 billion. This shows that there is immense potential to become a global chip manufacturing hub. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's moving from employee to employer. Business Standard.